Hey guys, we're going to be looking at James Feely here. This piece of crap confessed to his chief, Terrence Delahante, or Delahante or something, a Winthrop Police Department. He confessed to him in a cemetery of all places, Bell Island Cemetery. Apparently this guy was suicidal. He had his gun on him. The police took him into custody because he admitted to assaulting an underage child under the age of 14, I believe. Now, as always, I'm going to blur out uh, pictures of family members where I can, and especially children. I would ask that you don't go into these family members' Facebooks and leave nasty comments, as I've seen a lot of people doing. That's not really cool. The family didn't do anything. Uh, but with that, let's just jump right into the investigation. Okay, this is James Feely's LinkedIn. Uh, Lieutenant Winthrop, PD, Greater Boston, 201 Connections, Winthrop Police Department, UMass Boston. Is it just me, or does his profile picture look like a future mugshot? We're going to see a lot of comments and posts by this guy that just did not age well. This is one of them on LinkedIn. This was a year ago. God bless, brother. So much opportunity to do God's work with a uniform on. Let's move on. All right, so I am very surprised that his Facebook is still up. He should really take this down or private it just to protect those around him because, again, you do have people that go in and start harassing the family, which I think is despicable, but it does happen. So this says, Believer, Husband, and Father, Lieutenant at Winthrop Police Department, studied at UMass Boston, lives in Winthrop, from Winthrop, and married. Probably not for too much longer. I found this picture on his Facebook, too. It looks like some sort of commencement or ceremony for him as a police officer. This is on his Facebook back in August 2020. Happy one year anniversary. And I took her name and picture out of it because there's no reason to see that. I absolutely love you with all my heart. Thank you for not throwing me out yet. Another thing that didn't really age well. Okay, so this post was made May 3rd, 2022. 22,000 children in foster care just in Massachusetts alone. Trust me when I tell you it's an amazing feeling to help these children. Oh, and there's this one here. August 13th, 2020. Help me brag. Can somebody help me brag about God? He is awesome. He is our healer. Share if you agree. Amen. So this was put out on the Winthrop Mass Police Department Facebook page three hours ago, and it's now 1228 at 1034 p.m. And it says, in light of the horrific charges of aggravated rape of a child and indecent assault and battery on a child under 14 brought forward yesterday for a Winthrop Police Lieutenant, we want to ensure the community is aware of our resources available. And it gets into the different resources. As a side note, let me say that I am pretty troubled that the Winthrop Mass Police Department is limiting who can comment on their posts. I understand about removing things that are dangerous or illegal, but people have a right to put down their views. And I believe that's a free speech issue, but I am not at all an attorney, so who knows. Okay, so this is the last cringe post I have to show you. Special thanks to Winthrop Mass Police Department's Lieutenant James Feely for showing our Brownie Girl Scouts the ropes of 911 emergency response and first aid and even opening his police cruiser as a temporary jungle gym. I'm sure he really enjoyed that. The girls had a blast and learned so much. This is what community partnerships are all about. Note, he also teaches a fab CPR class if you're looking to get recertified. Uh, that's at coastpulsecpr.com. All right, guys, so I'll leave you with that. Uh, James Feely is due back in court January 29th. 2024, so we'll have to wait until then to see what happens to this guy. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.